Lions Den, powered by KCB Bank. Health and health related products, a high potential industry with attractive growth rates. Many of the products though that we consume are imported. Justin and Anthony are ready to change this narrative. We have come here with lots of energy and excitement and enthusiasm and uh, we feel very proud of what we're doing and uh, we are very confident about uh, the impact that we want to have today and the future. We feel we have a narrative to give to Kenyans and our, the Lions. Hello Lions, my name is Justin Tirimba, a co-founder and director at Impact Botanics Africa Limited. And my name is Anthony Gary, a co-founder as well and a director at Impact Botanic. So we are both applied scientists and today we present to you our venture that seeks to redefine 21st century nutrition, fitness and beauty. Today, 7 in every 10 people that die in the world are as a result of non-communicable diseases. And these include lifestyle diseases such as diabetes, most cancers, stroke, uh, ischemic heart disease and others. 4 in every 10 children that die under the age of 5 are due to complications arising from malnutrition. A growing size of the global population is currently facing multi-component nutrient deficiencies. And these are not statistics or trends that we can simply ignore. Some things have to change and our company seeks to be at the forefront of this by harnessing the rich natural biodiversity of Africa and the power of science to invest in high quality products, information and consumer support in a way that promotes good nutrition, fitness and beauty in society. Currently we have over 20 products trading on different platforms and at different scales under the brand name Impact. And today we are seeking a 2.5 million shilling investment for a 15% stake in our company. And this is going to be invested in three priority areas. The first one of which is to increase our stocking and processing capacity to be able to cater for the growing demands from our clients while at the same time maintaining quality. Two is to invest in what we are calling second generation product development. We have just been joined by an industrial chemist and a food scientist, and we are currently looking at uh, various products, a lip balm, a lotion, body scrub, a soap, and also biofortification of various bakery products, and also a healthy snack for diabetics, and also a healthy energy drink for athletes and fitness enthusiasts. A business specializing in and targeting high impact health benefits, does it have the potential to attract high impact investment from the lions? How long has Impact been in existence? Well, uh, we've been operating for the last 20 months. Mm -hmm. The first three months of our operations we sold, we had 745,000 worth of sales. Okay. And then the whole of last year, we did uh, 4.7 worth of sales. And so far in the year, we have done 3.2 million shillings mm -hmm. worth of sales. And we are projecting to close the year at between 7.5 million and 8 million shillings. And what's your profit margin? Gross margins have been 44%. Uh, mm -hmm. And then the net margins are around 20.5%. Where do you sell your products so far? Currently, we are selling products in, in three different lines. We have those products we supply in bulk, uh, partially processed for some of the uh, manufacturing companies who usually use them as ingredients for their products. We also have category whereby we sell online for retail market. We are in Jumia. We are also on Facebook platform where you are able to uh, sell online. Uh, like in Jumia, our, we have over 20 products so far. We also have nutritional and uh, herbal product builders who usually uh, buy our product on wholesale so that they can be, be able to use them in their line of duty. We also have hospitality clients where we supply the likes of honey, hibiscus and such. I, I like the way you packed your product, it yeah. looks pretty good and uh, I've just tried your shea butter yeah. and it has a nice smooth feel. Huh? Yeah. What are the sources of your raw material? Shea butter, moringa, hibiscus and honey, we get it from uh, Alua Legion of uh, Northern Uganda. And uh, also for Baobab, we get it from Muntomo Legion of Kitui. What, what is the shortest shelf life in your product range? Is it's it pumpkin honey? seed powder, which goes for eight months. Okay, because I, I noticed one thing. You, 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 you write the expiry date, but you don't write the date of manufacture. The consumer needs to know, don't you think? Yes. Yeah. It, it's, it's coded in, within the batch. But the consumer needs to know, don't you think? Yeah, yeah, sure. It's very important, especially for a food product. What is the one thing that would completely turn your business around? Currently, I would say uh, machine and equipment as also distribution channels. What's your current production capacity, let's say, for the Moringa? For Moringa, current production capacity, Mandre. Mm -hmm. Mandre current production capacity, we are at 300, 300 kg per month. 
but uh, the upscale is more being directed by the market absorption as well, mm -hmm. which market we are able to reach now. That's why we, are not, we have not gone above 300 kg per month. When you do your 300 kg per month, do you sell out or do you remain in stock? No, we do sell out. Actually, our turnaround time for our product is usually less than 30 days. Are you outsourcing production at the moment or how are you doing it? Uh, we are outsourcing for milling, for cold placing or for these oils. Uh, for honey, we process in-house. Mm -hmm. So basically that's where we are. Tell me about the fitness part. I get the nutrition. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the fitness part. I think uh, what happens, uh, maybe let me give you an exa one example. Diet plays a big role in fitness. There's, there's no question about it, obviously we know that. So if you're on a fitness plan, if you're, if you're going to the gym, if you want to regulate your weight or something, the diet that actually goes along with that plays a critical role in terms of the outcomes that you get. And for example, say if you want to burn fat cells in your body, you're exercising, and you want to take foods that are rich in carbohydrates, then what you're basically doing is you're providing fuel for those cells to feed on. So you may not really get much. But if you take something like chia seeds, they are high in fiber content and they are low in uh, calories. So you, you, get, you get all the health benefits, but you don't really get energy for those cells that you want to burn, for example. A convincing response from the entrepreneurs earns them extra points. Their hope now is that the lions will buy into their business and vision. So I like your product, I like your packaging. It looks, it looks clean and tidy, which is, which is very important. And I really like organic products and I think I like the direction that you're going in with the brand in general. Yes. So I'll offer you the 2.5 million for 25%. Let's Thank you very team. much. We'll, uh, we would love to hear from the rest of the Lions, perhaps. Well, for me, uh, I mean, I, I love your packaging and your stories, really. It's not the area of my strength, honestly. All right. uh, and for that reason, I'm out. Thank you. Thank you. I do like what you're doing. I like your passion. Thank you. Um, needless to say, I bring what you want, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. Plus, Manu more. plus more, exactly. So manufacturing experience, distribution, branding, um, Obviously, I think, yeah, the, the packaging, um, communication, requirements, you know, to meet uh, regulations, et cetera, needs, needs a bit of work. For sure. Um, I also think you need some alignment. You have a lot of product categories here, yeah. doing a lot of different things, yeah. yeah. So you need to focus, uh, you, you know, we need to get down and talk to customers and consumers about what moves, get some category data. Yeah. So I'll make you an offer. My offer will be the 2.5 million, but for 30% of your business. Olive Gashara jumped in offering 2.5 million for 25% of the business. Darshan Chandaria has countered offering the same amount, but with the promise of his manufacturing, branding and distribution expertise, he is asking for 30% of the business. I consume a lot of healthy food, so I know when I see good quality. Okay. I like the, 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 the brand impact, in fact that's what I noted first, and I like the story and the fact that you understand what the back of the, I mean, the back of the envelope numbers mean and everything. Yeah. So from an offer point of view, I can make you an offer. 2.5 for 20%. I'm just making life much better and easier for you. <laughs> but you're getting harder. <laughs> Guys, you're spoiled for choice, man. Uh, let me sit this one out for the moment. I might just throw a spanner in the works at the last minute. What does sitting it out mean? It means that I'm waiting to make, my, to make up my mind. Let them be evaluating these three options. I'm oh, waiting okay. for the front runner of the three, then I can go head to head. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I think this one, we might have to ask for a retreat. Huh? Yes, 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 go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yes, yes. Well, with three offers on the table and Joanne Mwangi hoping to come in, the entrepreneurs have a tough decision to make. It's hard, but we are here to make decisions. So, uh, having thought around it, I would say, first of all, we were thinking, is it possible for Chris and Sandaria maybe to have a possible working formula? We are really into penetrating to the hospitality market. 
which has increased is good. And then manufacturing and distribution is something that obviously we mentioned in our, in our pitch at the beginning. So we think that uh, we can get the best of both worlds. So we are proposing. Why, why, why do we need Chris the hospitality market? We are the biggest supplier to the hospitality market. All the big hotels are our customers. Name one that you think isn't our customer. <laughs> yeah? Okay. Do you have a concern with the percentage? Uh, so with the percentage, we are thinking maybe if we can do 3M for 25% for you. You know, increasing the amount of money you come in with is, not, is sometimes not the best strategy. And for that reason, I'm out. I, look, I would like to do this one on my own because, okay. I, you know, because of what I bring to the table. Okay. Right? And I'm willing to make you a counter offer. That's me coming in. Yeah. Um, I'll give you 2.5 million for 22.5%. And I don't often drop the percentage I ask for in the den. Okay. Um, Make it 20. <laughs> Make it 20. Let me ask you a question. Huh? Yeah. When you were coming into the den, I'm sure you had an idea who you wanted. Yeah. In your head? Yeah, for sure. Have you got who you wanted? We are very close. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh, fantastic. <laughs> Fine, I'll shave off the half. I like round numbers, 22%. <laughs> I think 20 would be a good deal. I think it'd be a win. I, I agree. Yeah. 20 would be a very good deal. So you want to go to Chris with 20? <laughs> <laughs> Fine, share the difference 21. I'll come to you for 21. Come on. Shall we clap? 1%. I think it's not clapping. Just think... always remember, I'm still in the running, eh? Yeah, I know. Uh, <laughs> I might just throw in a spanner in the world. Make it easy for us. Make it easy for us. I make it easy for you? Yeah. Yes. Make an offer. Joanne. Guys, what I think is that you've got something that's really, really good. And in my opinion, I think what you asked for at uh, 2.5 for 15%, I'm sure you are ready to negotiate, isn't it? Eh? For me, when I look at your business, the same 2.5 million, I would offer exactly what Darshan is offering. So I think with his manufacturing and distribution, you're better off with him than with me, so I'm out. <laughs> thank you, thank you. 21? You know, fashion. Be, be nice, um, I, I want to be nice to him. Give it to him for 21. It's idea yeah. too. I think we have a deal. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> That's a good fantastic. one. Fantastic. I look forward to it, yeah. Thanks, thanks, thanks. I look forward to it, huh? thanks. Oh, great. Don't worry, these all will be customers, huh? Even the guy who doesn't know about hibiscus tea. A pulsating negotiation culminating in a good deal for impact. They really come out having bagged the best offer they got in the den. It's <laughs> very exciting, it was very intense at the same time, so hope you have enjoyed the place. I owe you one. I was sure, you, if you do the distribution for them, they're going to go faster than I can take them. Good. Every day is an opportunity for us to invest in our well-being because life is very fun. Lion's Den, powered by KCB Bank.